Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Deshaun Hollywood, and I'm back with another dope video. And today's video is really lit because your boy has been booked and busy, and I have a lot to share with you guys. So, if you want to find out what's going to happen at the end of this video, then you already know what I need you to do. Keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so, ah, oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. Um, oh, and by the way, so y'all know how I am. If I get hungry throughout this video, then you already know I got the snacks on deck, honey, tonight's video. Yes, we will be indulging in the Sour Bright Callers Slurpee flavors. Like, what? I'm so excited about this. Anyway, so, oh my God, let's, honey, let's talk about it. We got a couple of different topics, honey. First, we're going to start off with the positive, and then we're going to get on with the negative, okay? First, alrighty, so my friend Chase has just released his music video to his song, Fuck boy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Not only because like what my friend has a video out, like I love seeing my friends just accomplish their goals and doing things that they believe in and everyone just out there zooming and zipping it, you know? I had a little small cameo and um, I'm really proud of it. Like I feel like that it was on point. Like, I like the way that I was looking in it. Like, I was so grateful that my friend even had me in his music video. Like, we both were looking popping. Also, a little side note, I did the makeup in the video. Like, I did chase a little small male beat, you know, because I am a professional makeup artist, if you did not know. Like, I do a little one and two here and there when I want to. Um, but yes, I did the makeup in the video, so it was so much fun. I did my makeup in the video, of course. Honey, it had to be beat. Um, and I want you guys to check this out. And this is just going to be a little small clip of my cameo in my friend uh, Chase's video. Video fuck boy. I will be dropping the link down in the description box if you guys want to watch the full video. So, check it out. texting i know you're not texting who i think you are why are you texting him and why shouldn't i because he's a fuck boy you know what i'm just gonna call him no oh here we go he's probably doing something like i said he's a fuck boy and it's time you unleash your inner fuck boy period What? Your boy is an actor. Like, what was, what was good? So excited about that. That was the positive. That is so dope. Like, what? Like, yes. Now, I got some stress up on my chest and I need to get it up off. Let's talk about viral videos. And the reason why I'm going to talk about this is because I've been asking you guys to tell me what you wanted me to talk about on my channel. What is some different topics or ideas that you guys have for me? And a lot of you said that you wanted me to talk about pop culture and celebrity gossip. And today I'm going to talk about pop culture or I'm going to consider it pop culture because I feel like viral videos do become a part of pop culture for the good or the worse. This case, it's just so happened to be for the worst. And like, like, 
I'm just trying to figure out why we're still dealing with stuff like this in 2019. Like, why some ill-haired, loud mouth? And you know what? You know what? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna take that from her. I'm not even gonna take. From her, the fact that she was loud because I'm loud. And it could have also been the simple fact that she had to be from New York or the East Coast or somewhere. And, you know, naturally, if you're from that side of the neck of the woods, like, you you talk a little harder. So, that, I'm not even going to hold her for that. But the ignorance, the ignorance, the loud ignorance, the arrogant ignorance, the like, oh girl, like what? Really? Really? In today's society, in the climate that we live in today, really? Sis? Like, you sat there with your hair not bump and curled at all, just very like swept over, ill cut, like, I hated it. But that's beside the point. But like, girl, really, let's, let's watch the clip. Let's, we're gonna watch the clip together to like, let's see what Miss Thing had to say because I'm appalled. No, no, it's comfortability. No, no, no. Loud. You should not be comfortable mm. putting anything in your ass as a straight man. But here's, okay, but a straight man getting but, fucked but, by a straight, uh, a teacher. female is Yes, queen. Teach her. It's not heterosexual sex. It is. I dig in his ass. No, it's Bye, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it's You Bye. put a dildo in no. his ass and that's heterosexual? Um, sexual? Yes. Get the fuck out of here, man. Girl, He's fuck out of here with no, that hair. No, it's not gay. No, that it's not gay. Ass. And then I know guys who fucking moan when they're getting fingered. You're Girl, fucking gay. Girl, and it's gay. No, you're not. I have a hair. No, you're not. That's okay. Because you're not going to have a man. Once if you a, don't moan from me riding you and you moan from my finger in your ass, a guy, you can, he can have you. I do not want you. And he I, will. I, he I, will I, have if him. If I can penetrate mm -hmm. your ass, I do not want he you. He will. If you are a straight man. If I know you are bisexual and I choose to deal with you, that's completely Passionate. different. Passionate. <laughs> Sweetie, like, she is late. And the other sister was trying to save her and give her life. She really was. But she just wasn't getting it. And you know what? I just feel like it's women like her that is why we have these overly aggressive, these toxic, this toxic masculinity that these women crave so much. And it's not all women, but I'm saying women like her. Like, honey, why can't you let him explore his sexuality with you? Why are you criticizing him? Because he's trying to take it to the next level with you. That's what's stopping you from becoming a wife, sweetheart, and why you're always a girlfriend. Because you are not even open to that type of lifestyle. Like, girl, what? If, if you're, you think you're always just going to keep it vanilla like that with your husband, girl, well, you, honey, and what you won't do, someone else will, honey, whether it's a man or a woman, sweetheart. You, women really need to stop doing that. You need to stop doing that, like, for real. Like, just because you may not be open to something. And you know what? And then I know I may hear some people say things about preference. But see, here's the thing. And this is why I don't really like preferences. Like, to me, mm, okay, you can have a preference. But I feel like when you speak your preference out loud on a public platform, that's when you cross the line because you could have just sat your ass there and ate your food. But instead, you had to be loud and ignorant and just spread it all out to the world to just spread that type of negativity and energy out there. You are a heterosexual male that is attracted to a woman and you're into anal play, that does not make you gay. Like, what are you talking about, lady? Like, why are you saying that? Like, no, girl, what? They doing fingers and tongues and everything else. Like, girl, you need to catch up because you're about to get left behind. Because every year something new is coming out. Next, it's going to be behind your elbow and under your knee. Like, bitch, you need to catch up. You're behind, sweetheart. Get up there with us because, girl, like... Expand your horizons, sweetheart. Like, 
You need to get it together. Like, but you know what? On a serious note, guys, like, everyone is entitled to their opinion. But at the same time, if you feel like that your opinion is going to affect someone in a negative way or a community in a negative way, like, literally, the way that she was just talking down on it as it was just so disgusting and vile to be gay or have any type of acts of what the gay community does. It's like, wow, girl, like what you acting like I'm the plague or something. And yes, honey, I'm saying I'm because I was personally offended. I can't speak for anyone else, but I can't speak for myself. And you just sat there and girl, what? What if you have a child and that child turns out to be gay? Are you going to talk about them like that? You never know what the future may hold, honey. Like you need to humble yourself. You need to humble yourself like a whole lot boo-boo because I wasn't impressed with anything your hair your 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 outfit like it was all late the dialogue was late everything was late sweetheart so like you had you had some nerve boo-boo like you need to sit up on that same platform where you acted a complete fool and give an apology not only to the community but to the young black queen who was trying to educate you on your ignorance and you were just so resistant of it, just didn't want to take any of the knowledge, wasn't trying to hear it at all. Like, you didn't even give it a chance. And that was just very late, tired and tethered, boo-boo. Like, get it together. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share. Turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And until next time, stay beat.